Hey, what's up everyone? And today we're here at Sprouts. It's one of my favorite supermarkets to come shop for for anything that's really specific like dairy or soy free. It's a really cool place. It's kind of like Whole Foods where you can find things you can't really find in Walmart or Albertson. There's really generic grocery stores like that. So basically the point of this video is to kind of give you guys some alternatives to some alternatives if you're trying to go dairy free and if you feel like there's not a lot of things to alternatives to like ice cream, cheesecake, or cookies, um, you're in for a surprise because there's a lot of cool stuff here and I can't wait to show you. And let's get started. So what a lot of people don't know is that a lot of bread products tend to have a lot of, you know, soy or milk, you know, kind of like the generic brands like Bimbo and stuff like that. But I found that Days Killer's bread tends to be a really good alternative. I tend to enjoy the white one instead. The ingredients are really healthy. Check out the macros as well. You can see those real quick. Grams of fat, 21 grams of carbohydrates, and two grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And you see this, super grains, no bleach flour, no high fructose corn syrup. And this is a really good brand. I recommend this a lot. It's soy and milk free, so I would suggest this one. Now, if you're a lover of pancakes, I suggest maybe the whole grain pancake mix. This one, but it has no milk and no soy ingredients, so it's really good. If you want to stay with that, obviously, like a lot of the things I'm going to go over are not healthy. Even though it's dairy free and soy free, it doesn't mean that it's healthy, but it's a good alternative if you want to stay away from it for any allergies or, you know, causes acne. So, these, this is a good brand. Now, a lot of you guys may know about almond milk and cashew milk and coconut milk, but organic protein has this brand where it has like 10 grams of protein. You guys go look at that. 10 grams of protein has no dairy products and it's no soy also. So this is a really good thing you guys can get also if you're looking to put on muscle or living the, living the healthier lifestyle as well. You guys are probably going to be seeing this brand a lot. It's called So Delicious Dairy Free. They make a lot of dairy free things. I don't drink this coconut milk but you know if any of you chocolate lovers out there want to try chocolate milk out of coconut milk I guess. You could try it. I've personally never tried this, but this seems like an interesting op option. I mean, I'd, I definitely would try this, but for right now, I'm not going to buy it. But, um, you know, if you guys ever see it, just try it. It's dairy-free and soy-free, actually, so you're doing really well on this one. All right, now, I know a lot of you, like, would not want to give up pizza, so I think this is a good flatbread to use. A lot of crusts tend to have milk in it or soy, so this, I looked at it. The ingredients are really good, actually. There's no milk or soy in it you guys can check that out there's no wheat or soy in this ingredient and i think you can off go for this instead instead of getting like a normal crust that's like has wheat milk and soy and stuff like that okay so this definitely has to be my favorite section it's like all the goodies and all the dairy free stuff i've personally never seen this brand before but you see here it says it's dairy soy and nut free dairy free nut free and soy free I personally never tried this brand, but honestly, I, might, I just might buy this. This is something you could try. I never tried it before, but they have chocolate, they have glaze, they have powder, they have cinnamon, and glazed donuts. And then, honestly, guys, this is a real lifesaver. It's dairy free, gluten free, soy free. And New York cheesecake, I swear, if you try this, it's going to be almost like the same thing. I tried it and I was honestly shocked how good it was. They have New York chocolate, key lime cheesecake. You would not be disappointed. Daya is a really good brand for dairy-free, soy-free things. And this is probably one of my favorite things to try. Cheesecake, donuts, and a bunch of other goodies here. Um, I'm not gonna buy it because I tend to eat a lot or all of it in one sitting when I do, so I'm gonna stay away from it for right now. All right, so now we're in the ice cream section now. I remember I talked about this brand a lot. It's so delicious, coconut milk, dairy-free. Um, I tried one of these, It's I tried the Butter pecan. And honestly, it was kind. Of, it was okay, but it kind of tasted a bit chalky, not as smooth as normal ice cream. But as you see here, Sprouts has like a abundance of items that are dairy-free. Some of them have soy, some of them are soy and dairy-free. But these are all the dairy-free items they have for ice cream. And honestly, some of them are pretty good. My favorite probably has to be Ben and Jerry's, but I don't think they have that here because they more they go for like more organic stuff. But honestly, you could find a lot of cool stuff here. There's some pops. Popsicles, they have even dairy-free mochi, which is pretty cool. If you like mochi, 
So if you guys are craving a sweet tooth and you're trying to find some ice cream, I suggest So Delicious. It's a good brand. Ben & Jerry's, if they don't have it, Sprouts, go there. Um, if you're looking for something soy and dairy free, I would suggest going with Soy Delicious. But if, you don't, if you're just dairy free, then all these op options are really cool too. You can get those as well. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking about pizza, and honestly, that was the biggest thing for me too, but Daya, like I said, this brand is really cool for making dairy-free things. Dairy and soy, actually. This is a meatless, meat lover's pizza. I haven't tried it yet, but I tried their cheese, mozzarella. It's really good. They have all these flavors. Margarita, meatless, uh, free roasted vegetable, and they have all these options. You know, like I said, I don't know if it's good. I, I might just buy this one today and give you like a review on it later, but there's all these options for pizza as well. Alright, so I'm going to have to do a little voiceover here because I was actually told that I cannot film anymore from one of the guys who worked there, but it's all good. I, Even though he told me not to, I still kind of managed to sneak in some clips here, but here is basically all the sections for the dairy-free cheeses they have. Like I said, Daya has a really awesome selection of all these cheeses. They have mozzarella, cheddar, American, pepper jack, actually. I didn't want to try the pepper jack. Kind of, It looked kind of orange, so it... It didn't really look too appealing, but I think if you want to try something else, I would suggest maybe mozzarella because I made a pizza with my girlfriend and it was actually not bad. Like obviously it's not the same thing, but it wasn't terrible. And obviously I think cheese is probably the hardest thing to was probably the hardest thing to substitute because there's not really anything that can really substitute cheese because it's so like it's it's just it's so tasty that you can't you know it's hard to find something that's it's hard to find an alternative when it's not cheese, but they're trying to make it taste like cheese, but you know it's not cheese. But I think if you're trying to, these offer a good selection and they even have, I tend to get the vegan, the Veganese mayonnaise because it has no soy and no dairy and it really works for me. But if you guys don't care about the soy, there's tons and tons of cheeses here that you guys can choose from. All right guys, so what I ended up buying was three things. I got this organic protein. Um, this is a really good brand if you're into weightlifting and you're into fitness. It has 21 grams of protein, a little bit less than a generic brand because most generic brands go for like 24, 25, but this is pretty good. It's organic protein, plant-based. There's no soy, there's no milk. It's really good. I like it. And then we have uh, Veganese, which is a replacement for mayonnaise. So I don't eat mayonnaise because it has soy in it. And I found this... Um, I found this... Alternative today, I actually never tried it before, but this is a really good deal as well. Soy free, veganese, um, egg, egg free, gluten free. I don't care about that, but this is a good alternative for sandwiches and stuff like that. And I had to buy the cheesecake. I think I said I wouldn't buy it early in the video, but um, I just had to try this one. It's <laughs> it's double. It's chocolate cheesecake. I tried the other one. I really liked it. And I think I'll like this one too. And funny note is, is that I was actually kicked out. Not kicked out, but I was told I wasn't able to film anymore but thankfully I was filming and I was already almost done anyway so it's all good so the funny part about that was that they told me that I couldn't film in there. I was it was a good thing because I was um, already almost done anyway with what I had. So I kind of had a I still filmed after they told me I couldn't, but just a little bit because I still wanted to get the cheese part in because I know cheese is something that that's the hardest to give up when you want to go dairy free because honestly nothing can replace cheese. But I got a snippet of it to show in the video because I couldn't not choose cheese. That's one of the most important things. Yeah, that's basically what I bought. And we're deciding to go dairy free. Um, it's not too hard. I know some people will say like I'd rather just have acne than give up cookies and cheese and pizza and all that stuff. But I mean, there's alternatives. And honestly, if you're really you're ready to you know, and if you're ready to try something new and be for real about your diet, and if you know this causes your acne, then you know why not try it? You know, for a month, and then you know have one cheat day. You know, get your pizza, get your milk, and everything else, and then go back to it allow yourself one cheat day if you need to but um but yeah that's about it uh thanks for watching and i'll get back to you soon all right bye guys